With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, concentric metallic hollow sphere of radius R and 4R holds charges Q1 and Q2 respectively. Given that the surface charge density of those concentric spheres are equal, you have to find out the potential difference. So if, if I say the inner, inner sphere is having a radius of R and outer sphere is having a radius of 4R and the charges on the two are Q1 and Q2. Right. So if I calculate the potential of the inner sphere V1 then I will write because of its own charge that will be this and R1 here is R and because because of the outer sphere it will also have potential that would be equals to this and if I write the potential of the outer sphere so because of its own charge it will have K Q2 so it will be plus by 4R and because of the inner sphere of radius R and charge Q1 it will be having a potential K Q1 by 4R. Now you could subtract the two equation to find out the this Vr minus V4R. So this is Vr and this is V4R. So we want the difference right. So if I subtract the two to find out the uh, vr and minus v4r so now you can see here this term will get cancelled out k q2 by 4r right so i will write k q1 by r minus k q1 by 4r so i will get here the potential difference will be equals to 3 by 4 k q1 by r Right. So now if I uh, write the k is equals to 1 pi 4 pi epsilon naught, right, then I will write here 3 by 4 into 4 pi epsilon naught into r into q1. Right. So if you see here, this will be equals to 3 by 16 pi epsilon naught r into q1 is the potential difference. So this will be our answer now you could check the correct option so if you see b is the correct option thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today